Welcome back. We are going to talk about frequently asked questions with our friend, uh, world-renowned uh, scientist and the chief science officer for Brain MD. And I've got a list thank here. Thank you so of, much for being with us. Yes, thank you. I've got a list here My from pleasure. our community. One of them, which you answered in another video, but in case they didn't see the kid video, is about whether supplements can be taken together or they should be separated. Yeah, so, so supplements are easily compatible with each other, so they can be taken at the same time. Are there any that should be taken separate? Uh, not that I can think of. Okay. Uh, it's really uh, only the ones that have to be taken, the few that have to be taken between meals or, or on an empty stomach that make a difference. But people can usually plan to take the majority of their supplements during or at the end of one of their large meals and best to take them early in the day with breakfast and lunch. Oh, so that matters. Yeah. So time of day matters. Yeah, if they have some left over and they want to take them with dinner, they should make sure it's at least three hours before bedtime. Oh, interesting. So yeah. I sometimes get lazy and take mine before bed, so I shouldn't do that. Well, it depends on uh, whether you want to have sweet dreams or not. Oh, interesting. Okay, so they can they can actually interfere with your sleep, is what you're saying. Now well, they can give you a lively dream life. Let's put it that way. Interesting. Okay, well that's really good to know. So time of day matters. Right. Um, and I'm assuming if they should be taken in between or on an empty stomach in between meals, that it'll say on the package. Yeah. No. At, at Brain MD, and this is a, a way, by the way, to distinguish supplement products that are not scientifically formulated from those that are. We are very specific on our product labels about how to take the products. Okay. And Good. where there are potential issues with medications or whatever, we're very specific about putting those right beneath the recommendations for use. Perfect. We're very specific as far as we can be. Okay. What about fat? People ask all the time, do I need to take them with fat? Right. There's, there's no need to take supplements with fats because we have our own emulsifier called bile, which has a type of fat that's very healthy. And as we begin our meal, the bile begins to be released and the bile disperses all of the nutrients and is designed biologically to optimize their absorption. So we make our own bile. So un unless you have a really diseased liver, you really shouldn't have to worry about that issue. So that's a myth. And I actually learned, I learned something because right. I always thought the fat soluble right. vitamins had to be taken with fat. So that's really right. good to right. know. That is really a myth and the bile takes care of it. Fantastic. Right. Um, okay, so those were two. Do you have any questions? Those are two that I had. Um, yeah, people are asking probiotics with vitamin D. You're saying you can take all of them together. Um, what time of day? You answered that. Which supplements? So uh, I'll have a question. So our most popular products are systems, brain and memory power and brain uh, and memory power max. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And excellent. They products. have two packets a day. Mm -hmm. Should they take them all both packets at once or they should take one in the morning and one in the evening? Well, I always tell people that the bottom line is to get it done. <laughs> so if you're having a really busy day and you have, or maybe you're going to travel or something and you have doubts about whether you're going to really get around to a second session, then take them both at once. Otherwise, try to take one packet with each meal, preferably breakfast and lunch. Okay, so not at night. Again, I want to make sure that I understand Preferably not at night. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then um, what I do want to point out here is there are people who are confused about the stimulating or calming supplements. Those should be taken morning or night or both or... They're well, if actually it's stimulating, you should stay away from bedtime. They're, they're actually very few stimulating supplements. The only two that I can think of are SAMI, S-adenosylmethionine, which is like the very best supplement, single supplement for mood, and acetylcarnitine, which really cranks up the brain. And I can't think of any others that can be said to be stimulating. So focus stimulating. and energy is okay for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you wouldn't want to take it at bedtime because it's meant to help you focus and boost your well, energy. Well, all, all supplements that work tend to increase a person's energy. But they don't give you that... That Nervous. edge, that, okay. caffeine. That, that certain drug. It's not like a caffeine yeah, They don't high, give right. you a caffeine high, that, that type of stuff. But they will give you more energy. So Sammy, so, if I can repeat that again, Sammy should be more in the morning or yeah, earlier in the that's day. That's what right. I tell my patients. Right. And okay. I do that for focus and energy, although um, I, I love that product because it not only has green tea in it, it has rhodiola, mm -hmm. ashwagandha, mm -hmm. ginseng, and choline. Right. Uh, right. So many good things. The Russians have rhodiola on the space station to counteract stress. All and ashwagandha has been known to counteract stress, but also help you 
focus. Right, right. Um, it's right. really and so, a great and product. So if you're anxious and nervous, 5-HTP, GABA, you can take those in the morning and they'll right. calm? No, no. There, there's a, a widespread misconception about neurotransmitter building blocks like 5-HTP or, or even GABA. Um, it's the nerve cells that are doing the work. So you, it's, it's, it's not that the brain is swimming in a pool of GABA or a pool of 5-HTP or serotonin or adrenaline or whatever. The nerve cells have to release those. So okay. the nerve cells get them from the, the blood supply to the brain. So and then the time. nerve cells process them and the nerve cells regulate what they want to do, etc. Okay, so that so, takes time and that's more yeah, of a... Okay, yeah, got yeah. it. So you can take those just generally with your other supplements and they'll... Right, right, right. But let's talk about one thing that's really important to you, which is sleep. And oh, dear. so when, when I'm working with a patient who has sleep issues, if they have trouble going to sleep, we'll use restful sleep and maybe right. I'll add some magnesium oh, to it. Oh my right. gosh. I if, love you guys for that. Product. If they worry and they can't let go because they have a little mouse in their head on an exercise wheel and the yeah. mouse can't get off. Tell me well, then that. I'll use serotonin mood support right? because right. it helps calm down yeah. Yeah. the yeah. part of the brain that makes you worry. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes I'll use both of them together because they can't get to sleep and no, they work. No, the saffron and serotonin mood support will go right to what we call receptors, the little antennae on the outside of the cells. And the saffron then has a, has a GABA type effect and so that can Maybe give that's an almost why I immediate felt kind calming. of high. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you yeah. I felt hot. But anyways. So, so <laughs> yeah. you know, so some of these herbals will have a, a straightforward, more or less immediate effect. Yeah. yeah. And that's why we use them very carefully, but also very effectively. And I'm now, constantly monitoring the clinical But what I like, this is really interesting. So my little sleep cocktail, I'll sometimes take my sleepy time tea also. But I take um, I take three restful sleep. And I take between four and 800 magnesium, milligrams of magnesium, depending on what's going on in my life. Um, I literally, I couldn't drive after, I mean, I'm like out. I'm like, can't keep my eyes open. But I'm, a, I'm not an easy sleeper because right. of all the stuff I've been through, you know, physically, biologically. So that combination just knocks me out. Right. And it changed right. when you had a baby. Right. Oh, no, I, I didn't. I used to be able to sleep on the top of a picket fence. I right. could sleep anywhere, anytime, anyhow. Right. But after I had a baby, I can hear a noise other end of my house with earplugs in. I can hear anything in my house, and I am up and down the hall so, ready to right. fight. <laughs> but you can, but you, can, you, can, you can almost never go wrong by taking that much magnesium. No. Because magnesium is such an incredibly important mineral. It's wonderful. It's so important all over the and brain. So calming. To, and calming. And we're coming effect. out with yeah. a brand new magnesium. It's 150 milligrams, but it's a wafer. Right. So talk about how you right. developed that. Well, it's been a long time coming, but... Um, we we were told by you and the Amen docs that you really need a magnesium product. So I felt that it might be nice to do a chewable. I like that because yeah. they come in big horse pills right. a lot of times and they make right. me gag. So and I then like you that. suggested we use the same beautiful sugar-free orange flavor that we have in the kids' Neurovite. So we use that to make this magnesium chewable. And it's 150 milligrams per chewable. You take two or three of those and yeah. you should be all set. I like that. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's most of my questions. Do you have any other ones that you want to add to that? That's sort of the general. Well, you know, if we just think, Paris, what are the objections people have had to supplements? I don't want to take so many pills. That's why we developed the Bright Minds powder. Right. Um, is there really any science? I like that a lot. I may not, it may not like work immediately. I mean, when do you get, for example, with omega-3 fatty acids, when do you get the optimal benefit? From the omega-3 fatty it acids. With, with the omega-3s, it takes four to five months to build them up in your cell membranes. And one point I wanted to make with respect to supplements is that it's, it's a very good idea to get tested for as many of the vitamins and minerals as you can and for the omega-3s. There's a we very easy test called the omega-3 index. Right. And if you can get your omega-3 index above eight, then you have protection against all sorts of things that can go wrong in the body. But even with a powerful uh, supplement like our omega-3 power, it still takes a few months to get the index to go up. Now, with the cheap omega-3 products, as you would find in many pharmacies, the basic omega-3, you might take it for years and never get past eight on the omega-3 index. Well, what's funny is Lorenzo, our uh, copywriter, when he first came to see us, he'd been taking omega-3s 
for years. And when we tested his level, it was five. Right. And I'm like, you need to throw that out and take this. So I convinced him to take omega-3 power. Right. And so two months 12, later, that's good, right? we tested him again, right. and it was 10. Right. Uh, yes, right. yours so, is awesome. So realistically, like so I know I'm very competitive. Awesome. So <laughs> realistically, that, like... and uh, I've I've looked into this very very carefully, and you know I have my obsessive side too. It really takes at least two soft gels per day of our omega three power. But it won't hurt me to take three or four. Absolutely yeah, not. No, if you have an issue, if if you have any sort of issue with your brain that's affecting your productivity. Right. You want to go to four. Or what if you have of like history of health power. issues where you have a tendency toward inflammation and anything where you feel you need help, you're best off to take four right. of the omega three power. Okay. Well, it has been a joy to be with you. Thank you Very so much. much. Please watch totally our enjoyed. first video with Dr. Kidd on general information. It was just an overall video on why should I take supplements. It's loaded with just so many more details. You have been so helpful. It's Thank been you. such a blessing to have you Thank with us. You. It's really a pleasure to work with the Amen Thank family. Thank you for being part of our family. Thank you. Stay with us.